I put every Formula 2 driver in every single Formula 1 car to see which of the young drivers can do it in the best possible machinery. Will it be one of the favorites that come out on top like Teo Porsche or Felipe Drogovic or will it be somebody else? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Chris. Welcome back to CF Racing. Hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends, join the Discord, and most importantly, enjoy the video. Race one in Bahrain was won by Jack Doolin, followed by Daruvula, Awasa, Teo Porsche, Richard Vashore, Yuri Vips, Logan Sargent, Enzo Fittipaldi, Felipe Dragovic, Frederick Vesti finishes P10, Awasa gets fastest lap, and Enzo Fittipaldi started on pole. Race 2 in Saudi Arabia was won by Jehan Daruvula, followed by Drogovic in P2, and Ayumu Awasa in P3. Jack Doolin finishes P4, followed by Logan Sargent, Dennis Hauger, Richard Vashore, Teo Porsche, Yuri Vips, Clement Novolak, Jehan Darubula gets fastest lap, and Marcus Armstrong started from pole. Race 3 in Australia was won by Jack Doohan, I believe this is his home race, with Felipe Drogovic in P2 and Yuri Vips in P3. Logan Sargent finishes P4, followed by Frederick Vesti, Liam Lawson, Armory Cordiel, Richard Vashor, Jehan Darubula, Sato, Doohan gets fastest lap, and Felipe Drogovic started on pole. Race 4 in Baku was won by current Formula 1 driver now, Logan Sargent, with Richard Vashor in P2. P2, and Clement Novolak actually finished P3. Teo Porcher finishes P4, followed by Ollie Caldwell, Yuri Vips, Marcus Armstrong, Frederick Vesti, Liam Lawson, Enzo Fittipaldi rounds out the top 10. Logan Sargent got the point for the fastest lap, and Armory Cordiel had pole position. Race 5 in Miami was won by Liam Lawson with Enzo Fittipaldi in P2 and Felipe Dragovic in P3. Teo Porsche finishes P4 followed by Jehan Daruvula, Ali Caldwell, Frederick Vesti, Armory Cordiel, Logan Sargent, and Dennis Hauger rounds out the top 10 with Liam Lawson getting the point for the fastest lap and Jack Dewan getting pole position. Race 6 in Imola was won by Current Formula 2 champion Felipe Drogovic with Logan Sargent in P2 and Yuri Vips in P3. Awasa finishes P4, followed by Marcus Armstrong, Liam Lawson, Jehan Daruvula, Teo Porsche, Richard Vashore, Sato. Awasa gets point for the fastest lap, and Teo Porsche had pole position. Race 7 in Monaco was won by Logan Sargent with Jack Dew in P2 and Felipe Drogovic P3. Sato finishes P4, followed by Iwumu, Ayumu, Ayumu, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Awasa in P5, Yuri Vips P6, Marcus Armstrong P7, Dennis Hager P8, Teo Porsche P9, Clement Novolak P10, Jack Dewin got fastest lap, and he also had pole position. Race 8 in Spain was won by Felipe Drogovic with Jack Dewan in P2 and Liam Loss in P3. Logan Sargent finishes P4, followed by Armory Cordiel, Clement Novolak, Richard Vashore, Marcus Armstrong, Sato, and Ollie Caldwell rounds out the points, with Logan Sargent getting fastest lap and Felipe Drogovic having pole position. Race 8 in Canada was won by Armory Cordiel. I'm surprised how well he's doing in this simulation with Felipe Drogovic P2 and Roy Nassani in P3. The GOAT. Logan Sargent finishes P4. Four, followed by Jack Dewan, Liam Lawson, Marcus Armstrong, Yuri Vips, Teo Porsche, Ali Caldwell rounds out the points with Roy Nassani getting point for the fastest lap, and Felipe Dragovic getting pole position. Race 10 in Austria was won by Logan Sargent, followed by Awasa P2, and Armory Cordiel, once again doing well, he's in P3. Liam Lawson finishes P4, followed by Jehan Darubula, Jack Dewan, Felipe Drogovic, Dennis Hauger, Yuri Vips, sorry, Frederick Vesti P9, and Yuri Vips in P10. Armory Cordiel gets fastest lap, and Jack Dewan is started from pole. Race 11 in Silverstone was won by Jack Dewan, followed by Awasa P2 and Jay Hand Rubula in P3. Clement Novolak finishes P4, followed by Sato P5. Armory Cordiel in P6, Teo Porsche P7, Ollie Caldwell a P8, Marcus Armstrong a P9, Liam Lawson P10, Awasa had fastest lap, and Frederick Vesti started from pole. Race 12 in Hungary was won by Felipe Drogovic with Richard Vashore P2 and Sato. He's doing really well in this simulation. He finishes P3. 
Liam Lawson finishes P4, followed by Marcus Armstrong, Jahan Daruvula, Dennis Hauger, Yuri Vips, Awasa P9, and Armory Cordiel P10. Richard Vashore had fastest lap, and Richard Vashore also had pole position. Race 13 in Spa was back-to-back -back victories for Felipe Dragovic with Jack Dew in P2 and Jahan Daruvula in P3. Frederick Vesti finishes P4, followed by Teo Porcher, Marcus Armstrong, Dennis Hauger, Awasa P8, Sargent P9, and Ollie Caldwell P10, with Jack Dewan getting the point for the fastest lap and Felipe Dragovic starting from pole. Race 14 in Netherlands, Dragovic makes it back to back to back victories with Richard Vashore P2 and Yuri Vips P3. Dewan finishes P4, followed by Logan Sargent, Dennis Hauger, Armory Cordiel, Clement Novolak, Enzo Fittipaldi, Sato finishes P10, Dragovic gets point for the fastest lap, and Logan Sargent started from pole. Race 15 in Monza was surprisingly Teo Porcher's first win of the year, and I forgot to change the flag. I have the Netherlands flag there, not the Italy flag. Richard Vashore finishes P2, and Dennis Hauger finishes P3. Enzo Fittipaldi finishes P4, followed by Sato, Vips, Logan Sargent, Felipe Drugovic, Jack Dewan P9, Clement Novolak P10, Richard Vashore had the fastest lap, and Dennis Hauger started from pole. Race 16 in Singapore was won by Felipe Drugovic with Logan Sargent P2 and Awas P3. I forgot to change the flag again. Whoopsies. Liam Lawson finishes P4, followed by Jack Dewan, Marcus Armstrong, Teo Porcher, Clement Novolak P8, Sato P9, Vishor P10. Nobody in the top 10 got the fastest lap, and Jack Dewan had pole position. Race 17 in Japan was won by Teo Porcher with Armstrong P2 and Jahan Darubula P3. Can we have a late season title charge from Teo Porcher? That would be really cool. Logan Sargent finishes P4, followed by Dennis Hauger P5, Cordiel P6, Sato P7, Novolak P8, Vashore P9, and Frederick Vesti rounds up the top 10. Marcus Armstrong gets the point for the fastest lap, and Logan Sargent started from pole. Race 18 in Qatar was won by Jack Dewan, followed by Armstrong P2 and Awasa P3. Enzo Fittipaldi finishes P4, followed by Cordiel, Clement Novolak, Richard Vashora, Yuri Vips, Felipe Drugovic P9, Jahan Darubula finishes P10, Jack Dewan had the fastest lap he maximized this weekend, and Vashore starts from pole. Race 19 in Circuit of the Americas was won by Yuri Vips with Jack Dewan P2 and Logan Sargent P3. Teo Porcher finishes P4, followed by Liam Lawson, Richard Vashor, Frederick Vesti, Armory Cordiel, Ollie Caldwell, Clement Novolak, Teo Porcher gets fastest lap, and Teo Porcher had pole position. Race 20 in Mexico was won by Frederick Vesti with Vashor in P2 and Ollie and Armory Cordiel in P3. Awasa finishes P4, followed by Teo Porcher, Jack Dewan, Yuri Vips, Jahan Darubula, Felipe Drugovic, Clement Novolak P10, Vesti had fastest lap, and Darubula had pole position. Race 21 in Brazil was won by Jack Dewan, followed by Jahan Darubula P2, and Sato P3. Richard Vashore finishes P4, followed by Marcus Armstrong, Logan Sargent, Felipe Drugovic, Enzo Fittipaldi, Clement Novolak, Teo Porcher rounds out the top. Top 10. Nobody had point for the fastest lap, and Darubula started from pole. Race 22 in Las Vegas was won by Felipe Drugovic, with Liam Lawson in P2 and Jack Dewan in P3. Awasa finishes P4, followed by Yuri Phipps, Teo Porcher, Logan Sargent, Dennis Hauger, Richard Vashore, Frederick Vesti, Jack Dewan had point for the fastest lap, and Marcus Armstrong had pole. In the final race of the season, Jack Dewan comes out on top with Teo Porcher in P2 and Yuri Vips in P3. Awasa finishes P4, followed by Logan Sargent, Richard Vashore, Marcus Armstrong, Enzo Fittipaldi, Frederick Vesti, Sato finishes P10, Dewan had a point for the fastest lap, and Frederick Vesti started from pole, and we're going to take a look at the final stats in just a second, but let me know in the comments section down below who you guys think has won the championship. Let me know, see if you're right, and then if you get it right, edit your comment, say how good you did. With that being said, let's take a look at the final standings. Coming out on top, this might be a big surprise surprise to everybody, but it is Jack Dewan, and he was honestly, I think he was two or three points behind Drugovic going into Abu Dhabi, but he won with fast slap, and Felipe Drugovic didn't score a single point, so that put Jack Dewan on top, and he wins the F1 World Drivers' Championship. Felipe Drugovic finishes P2, and Logan
Logan Sargent finishes P3. Honestly, still pretty close considering what happened actual last year in Formula 2. Teo Porcher finishes P4, followed by Awasa P5, Richard Vashore P6, Jehan Darupala P7, Yuri Vips P8, Liam Lawson P9, and Armory Cordiel in P10. Marcus Armstrong finishes P11 with Sato in 12th, Frederick Vesti 13th, Dennis Hauger, a little disappointing, he's in 14th, Novalak in 15th, Fittipaldi 16th, Ali Caldwell 17th, Roy Nassani, P18, Ralph Boschong, P19, and David Beckman rounds out the top 20. Alpine is your Constructor Championship winner with Red Bull P2 and McLaren P3. Aston Martin finishes P4, followed by Haas, Alfa Romeo, Ferrari in P7. They do not have a good driver lineup with Daruvala and Dennis Hauger. Alfa Tauri finish P8, Williams P9, and Mercedes finish in dead last they do not have a good driver lineup <laughs> it's quite unfortunate for them so guys that is going to wrap it up for today's video if you guys want to see me put every driver academy in formula one so for example i put like liam lawson yuri vip uh, liam lawson dennis hauger Daruvla any of those guys in the Red Bull team, or just say I put like Robert Schwartzman and maybe like Mick Schumacher in the Ferrari driver, put Drogovic and Aston Martin. Let me know in the comment section down below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.